Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin as we are, yeah, as we're looking at this chart on the 30 minute chart, we can see that the structures are still the same that we discussed in the last video yesterday, but Bitcoin is currently in a key pivot area. Okay, so this um, newly added micro support area, I think it's worth talking about it. Um, quick look at the daily chart makes sense to do that maybe at least well once a day even though the daily hasn't really shifted or changed but please be aware you know that this is still the perspective here this is the main support area that main support area is still relevant it's between 50.7k and 61.7k as long as the price holds above it um, or at least doesn't break below 50.7k my thesis on the daily chart is unchanged and Bitcoin should get to like 125 to 140K in the bull market. Um, the overall structure will change on the daily time frame if there is a break below that 50.7K level. What I'm not sure about is do we get just like two more highs or maybe three more highs to the bull market top. Um, disregard where those labels are sitting. I haven't put a target area here. They're just placeholders. But sort of, yeah, 125 to 140K depends a little bit on how high we go in these individual subwaves. So I will adjust targets as we go and mention them frequently. But for now, the idea is we are still in the bullish market. We haven't completed it. Still a few more, a little bit of upside business left to do for Bitcoin. Um, most of the bull market is done for Bitcoin. Pretty sure about that. Um, you know, um, Bitcoin already moved from like 15K to 70, right? So it's not going to do the same percentage increase again. Not this bull market. I mean, happy to be impressed, but don't think so. Yeah, The wave structure suggests something different. But yeah, maybe we get another 2X out of it for Bitcoin. So that is still significant. But that just means most of the bull market is taken technically by definition done not necessarily for altcoins yeah um, some altcoins i think have their largest rally still outstanding but some have already had a significant rally they might not do that anymore so it's a bit you know in this bull market it's a little bit different than in previous markets where um, literally everything was going up at the same time uh, well most of them at least and well this time it's all going in cycles and it's a bit different but still bitcoin is gonna complete the bull market and that will also have an effect on altcoins regardless of where they are in their individual cycles. So still looking at possibly higher from here. Um, as I said before, the fourth wave here, which started middle of March, might be completed. Absolutely, it might be completed. It, um, However, at the moment, the evidence is not very clear. So I'm talking about this fourth wave that began here on the 14th of March. We have a three wave corrective pullback into support. And yeah, from here, we only have a three wave rally. We're holding above micro support levels. So I'm leaning to the upside. I'm watching for higher prices from here, but I'm very much on the side of caution still. That means we could still dip into the support area again. I wouldn't call that bearish. That's simply another dip into the support area on the daily where the market could then make another attempt to rally. All right. so. It's just that I cannot yet confirm that we're really in the breakout, but I'm treating it as if we are, you know, by looking at relevant microstructures. But when they break to the downside, support levels, yeah, micro support levels that we're talking about on the one hour chart, then it indicates that a top has been struck, a local top. Not that, you know, something here has to change, but the way forward simply reset a bit lower. Looking at the one hour chart or 30 minute chart, actually, um this is the now let's go to the one hour first this is the structure here where we topped on the 14th of march in this third wave as i said the fourth wave might still be unfolding you see that here we might touch again the 55 and a half k level where we actually didn't touch it in this range but this is the 38.2 retracement so it might turn into a flat pattern a wave down b wave up and then c wave down um, at the moment, even in this count, one more high is possible. Talking about this B wave, yeah, this is possible. Um, especially, well, there is at the moment no sign that a substantial top has been struck. Okay, the pullbacks have been corrective. We're just ranging at the moment. 
So it, for me, it rather suggests trend continuation, but a signal that we have topped in white wave B would be a break below $64,374. Yeah, that's a 61.8 retracement. Until that level breaks, the assumption is that we've bottomed in the wave four. We rallied in three waves from this 1st of May low to the 21st of May high, roughly. Yeah, And now we are then we have been ranging Okay, and if we go to the 30 minute chart, you can see it. We, we are still in that. Oops, we are still in that price range there. And holding above this micro support area, two wave counts here on the smaller time frame, which still allow for rising prices within this, let's say, assumption that we have bottomed already in the larger fourth wave. First count is here the yellow one, in which we are working on an Elliott wave triangle in a small fourth wave, which could get one more high to around about 76 and a half K. In this scenario, the red line must hold. Um, it's 66,650, that needs to hold, okay. Yep, we could go a little lower, no problem. The main support area for this thesis that on the 1st of May, a substantial low has been struck is 64,370. So you can just look at that level, just watch that level. Already below 65,755, the 50% FIB level, I think the probabilities for a move down increase, but it takes a break below um, 64,370 to confirm that further. So if you're not interested in the micro, these are the two levels for you. If you are interested in the micro, because there are two smaller degree patterns that could play out here, in my opinion, um, in this scenario, yeah, when if we've bottomed, we should get one more high, either in the blue count, yeah, so in the blue count, then um, we are still in this fourth wave and we formed an A wave down, which bottomed on the 23rd of May. This is a B wave rally, which could get one more high, but only as long as we're holding 68.4K um, and then reach like just below 71K and then come down. So there's risk there of a rejection. If we just push through, it would indicate that yellow wave four already bottomed and then we just go higher possibly directly to 60, 76 and a half K. Basically it means if we, so there's a chance to move up directly from here. If we do, then 71 K or just below that is a level to watch, key pivot and a push above it will gradually increase probabilities that we're already in the fifth wave. So hope that helps. That um, is my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.